In this video, we're gonna show you how to remove the rear wheel on your Stasic. All right, now go ahead and remove the battery. And the first step will be to take a four millimeter Allen and loosen up and remove the bolts holding on the footrest. Once you've got both those bolts out, go ahead and tap it forward and the footrest will slide forward and off. Now you'll grab a Phillips screw and remove the seven Phillips screws that hold the side panels together. You'll notice if you have an older bike, they have a T10 Torx screws instead of the Phillips style on this bike. Now, once you've got all seven screws loose, go ahead and split the side panels apart, but be careful not to drop any of the screws on the ground. Next, you will remove the battery connector. Uh, play, pay close attention to how that was installed as when you go to put it back together, uh, there is some locating features there. All right, the first step to removing the rear wheel will be to remove the eight millimeter brake cable hanger, nut and bolt. So go ahead and loosen these two and remove them from the bike. You'll notice as you're disassembling it, there's two sets of nuts on the back side of it. Now we're gonna loosen this 10 millimeter brake cable hanger bolt and nut. And pay attention to the orientation, but go ahead and remove all those parts. Next, we're gonna switch our attention over to the rear axle. We're gonna loosen the left-hand side first. Then we're gonna move over to the right-hand side and loosen the chain adjuster. Go ahead and loosen this nut uh, about a quarter inch off of the actual chain adjuster so we could gain a little bit of room to remove the rear wheel. Once we've got this piece loose, go ahead and grab your 15 again and remove the rear axle bolt on the right hand side. Now once you've got this nut off of the bike, the chain adjuster will slide off. Once the chain adjuster is off, go ahead and take a look at it. You'll notice that there's more material on one side that the holes offset on the chain adjuster. Now that you've got the chain adjuster off, Go ahead and slide the rear tire forward, and this will give you enough slack to slip the chain off of the countershaft sprocket. To reinstall the wheel, go ahead and get everything lined up, get the chain guard on the bike with the wheel and the chain. Go ahead and hold the tire up a little bit higher. You're gonna reach through the gap in the frame, grab the chain, and then line up the axle onto the frame and slowly work the chain around the countershaft sprocket. Once you've got the rear wheel in place, you're gonna start with the chain adjuster. Go ahead and get that back in place. Keep in mind the side with more material is closest to the sprocket. Next, go ahead and reinsert the rear axle washer and nut on the right-hand side. And then you can switch over to the left-hand side and do the same. You only get to go hand tight for this first step as we uh, need, need a little bit of uh, wiggle room to get the brake drum lined up with the frame. Now we're gonna grab the brake cable hanger and join these three pieces together with our eight millimeter nut and bolt that we just took off. Be sure this bolt has a washer, and then go ahead and reinstall the two nuts on the backhand side. This process is gonna be left finger tight for the time being until we switch over back to the chain adjuster and actually add tension to the chain. We're looking for about two to three millimeters of slack up and down. So go ahead and reach your fingers back there and check the adjustment. Once you're happy with the adjustment, you can go ahead and tighten the rear axles by grabbing your 15 millimeter end wrench and snugging these 
two nuts up. Once you've got the axles tight, tighten down your brake cable hanger and then reattach the brake cable to the brake drum. Go ahead and test the action on that brake hanger by pulling it with your index finger and finding where it actually engages. Once you've found where it engages, go ahead and let it loose so the rear tire is freely spinning and tighten the 10 millimeter bolt down again. Next, you'll actually test the action of the rear wheel by spinning it and pulling on the brake to make sure that it's got minimal movement before the brakes are actuated. To reinstall the side panels, go ahead and start with the left hand side and notice the locating features on the side panel that will help the ESC sit securely in there. Once you've got that in position, go ahead and switch your attention to the battery connector and get the locating features lined up and in place. And then you're gonna grab the right hand side panel and apply that to the bike. Now you wanna get down low and make sure that the battery connector comes together seamlessly on the bottom. And I always start with the bottom screw to ensure that those connectors don't have any problems down the road, that that part is secure. So go ahead and check it for spacing right along those lines. Make sure that it is secure. And now you can move along to the other six screws. Pay close attention. Six screws are a little bit longer and those go into the side panels. The last screw will have a washer on it and will be a little bit shorter. This piece is to connect the side panel with the chain guard by the rear wheel. The last step will be to uh, reinstall the footrest. Go ahead and slide the footrest on. You may need to tap it to get the holes to line up. Once the holes line up, go ahead and throw the bolts through and tighten them down.